Well, drought and wind always make Coloradans nervous about wildfire, and we wondered if the snowpack will be of any help in that regard. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson checking in from the Frisco Marina, and Spencer, you checked in with the state scientists last month. Again today, any good news to report on that snowpack? Jim, I wish it was better news. It's not horrible news, but just not exactly what we were looking for. It is just below average right now of what we normally have for our snowpack, but close enough that scientists aren't super worried. They're now focusing more on uh, how fast this snow will melt compared to how much snow we'll be getting. It's not perfect news, but our Colorado mountain snowpack is looking just okay. I wish it were a little bit better. I, I would feel more comfortable if we were you know, above average at this point. Considering last month when I spoke with Becky Bullinger, she told me we would need an above average amount of snow to bump us up to average, and we didn't exactly get that. So it's not a super surprising outcome. I think that we're going to see some recovery, but we're not going to see full recovery. Now it's more about monitoring how fast our snowpack is starting to melt. If we just quickly go into summer temperatures or we're above average temperatures all the time, you get that melting really fast. And that means that some of that is not making it into the streams and reservoirs. It's actually getting lost to the atmosphere. There's still time also for late winter storms to blow through, like the one forecasted for Tuesday. But it might not be all good news if wind comes along too. You have, you're increasing that evaporative loss. It also could mean in areas where there is no snowpack west of us, we're carrying dust in and depositing dust onto that snow, which is also not as beneficial. Now, speaking of trying to have that snow melt at a reasonable rate, having snow up here in the mountains is one of those protecting factors when we talk about having wildfires up here in the mountains. We know how dangerous those can be for our mountain communities, and so making sure that it's not too hot and melting all that snow early will really help protect us in the long run. Live in Frisco, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first.